You got an answer in your code So don't be afraid to face the world Against the light Keep the dream alive, don't let it die It's something deep inside Keeps inspiring you to try Don't stop Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Well, I hope y'all are having a wonderful Tuesday. It is beautiful outside today. Yes, it is. It is beautiful outside today. <clears throat> and I hope you all are enjoying every moment of it. Every moment of it. All right, y'all. I have a wonderful devotional to share with you all. I could not, not share this devotion with you all that I stumbled across yesterday uh, online. It's not a book, it's online. And I will try to leave the link below just in case you all want to read it yourself. So it's a really good devotional. So this devotional is called Never Give Up. That's why I'm listening to this song by Yolanda Adams called Never Give Up as well. This is one of my favorite gospel songs. Never give up because y'all, we cannot give up. That is not an option. Giving up is definitely not an option. No matter how hard it get, you know, no matter how long you take, we just can't give up. Giving up is definitely not an option. So I know times do get hard. Where you just want to give up. Where you feel like you're doing everything right. And nothing is working. And you just want to quit. I truly understand that. I've been there myself. How many times. So I hope this devotional really encourages somebody on today. Who's probably feeling like they just tired. Feeling like they can't do no more right. You know, feeling like there's nothing changing. Feeling like uh, they ain't benefiting from doing right. I hope this devotional encourages you to continue, continue to do what's right. And never give up. Don't give up. Don't even consider giving up to be an option. Because it's not an option. It's not an option. When you're working for the Lord, giving up, it's just, it's just not an option. Sorry. <laughs> it's just not an option. But the Lord send you, he send you people to encourage you during those difficult times, you know what I'm saying, to not give up. He's going to do that. So don't worry about it. God will send somebody. If not me, he will send somebody else to encourage you and to uplift you, to help, to strengthen you. But until then... You know, talk to God. Ask God to strengthen you. Ask Him to give you the strength. Trust that God. God don't want to see you give give up. So trust that God want to see this good come to pass in your life. He wants this more than you do. So we can't give up, y'all. So let me get on into this devotional. All right. It says, never give up. Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Sometimes in our Christian walk, we get tired of trying. What's the use, we say? Evil always wins. We plug on mightily when things are going well, but when we can meet a few bumps in the road, or if the way gets really difficult, we want to suck and pout. Mm don't we though we're in good company elijah had won a mighty spiritual victory on mount carmel god defeated 450 prophets of baal and the 400 prophets of Ashura. then when jezebel threatened him elijah ran all the way to the mountain of god but god listened to his grumbling and raised up new prophets to do the work of god we sometimes want to tuck our tail between our legs when we fail at our weight loss journey. It is easy to do. 
we might be embarrassed or ashamed, or we might have really tried hard and nothing just seemed to help this week. It is the hardest defeat of all when you are trying to lose weight and doing everything right. And when you step on the scale, there isn't any change. Don't I know about it? <laughs> so here is my advice. Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay, it sounds simple. Too simple. It is easier said than done. But you have to keep a conscious effort going. You have to get your head and your heart in the game. No distractions. When my daughter trains a horse, she has to keep his mind focused at all times or else it will get lazy and start taking shortcuts. If the horse thinks you will let him get away with it, then he will take he will take even more shortcuts. If you are going to show this horse, it has to do the same thing exactly right every time. So when you think the horse is starting to go through the motions, you have to keep it forward. You have to remind the horse of what he should be doing. We really aren't much different. If we start thinking like we should give up, then we will either give up or start taking shortcuts. Our head isn't in the game because our heart is somewhere else. That is why I keep focusing my eyes on Jesus and filling my heart and mind with his word. It keeps me in the game in both my Christian life and my weight loss efforts. Jesus keeps me forward. So don't quit. Don't think about giving up. Put your eyes on Jesus and redouble your efforts. Our reward is not today. It's down the line. Dear God, I praise you for your mighty power, wisdom, and providence. Keep me focused on Jesus and help me to withstand the temptation to give up. I want to succeed in all I do so that I can give the glory to my God and my King. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, y'all. So don't give up. Don't even consider giving up, y'all. Giving up is not an option because in due time, you will reap a harvest. You will reap a harvest, y'all. So that is, I wanted to share this other Bible verse with y'all. Because I understand, y'all, time get hard. Life can get real hard. Like a lot of things happen in life. So much happens in life. They can just deter us or, you know, take our, distract us and take our concentration away from, you know, away from the Lord or, just away from doing doing the right things. But yeah, we gotta stay focused. We have to stay focused and keeping our eyes on Jesus. Keep our focus on the Lord. He is the only one, you know, that can sustain us, you know, keep us from giving up. How we think we gonna not give up when all these, you know, all these things keep happening. You know, we get the feeling overwhelmed. Like, I just can't take another thing. If one more thing happened, I'm just going to fall apart. You know, who who you think going to keep us together? Jesus. He the only one that can keep us together when we're going through all that. Because, I mean, we really ain't even know how they strong. You know, we really ain't. It really be the strength of God that's holding us together, keeping us together, giving us the strength to keep on pushing and keep on going another day and another day and another day. So it's Jesus. So, y'all, let's keep our mind stay on Christ. Let's stick with the Lord. Stay close to God. Keep his word close to us on our heart, on our minds, in our mouth. Keep God close. I just want to share a scripture with you all. I want to share a few. I'm going to share one scripture, you know, with you all that I'm going to read out loud. And then I will share a few more that y'all can look up, you know, in your free time. You might, you know, be feeling a little discouraged or feeling like you want to give up. Then here go a few scriptures, you know, you can look up in your free time. But the first scripture I'm going to read, okay. I like this scripture, y'all. This is really a scripture that, that can really give you the strength that you need when you need it. Believing in God's promises and standing on it. Because y'all know God's word is law. Like, it's, it's that. If God said it, it's that. It's law. It's law. 
it can't look. It is that's what it is. If God said it, that's what it is. Can't be changed, can't be altered, can't be nothing. If God said it, huh, you can guarantee that that's what it is. So believing in God's promises, standing on his word, yeah, these verses going verses gonna keep you strengthened. Okay, so my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Because sometimes we be thinking like I'm doing all this right. And like this ain't doing me no good. Like I was doing better when I was doing wrong. You know, so it's that you know in this scripture that nothing that you do for the Lord is useless. So you doing it for a reason. You might not know the reason right now. But stick with the Lord and what he got you doing. And it's all... And it's all going to work for your good in the long run. You will see it eventually. You definitely will. It's working towards a purpose or towards a big picture. We don't always see the big picture. We don't always know the purpose. And we don't always know the reason behind why God do things the way he do. Or why God allow things to happen the way that they happen. But we can trust Trusting his word, knowing that it's working for our good. It is working for our good. It's working for our good, y'all. All right, and um, here go a few Bible verses y'all can look up in your free time. Whenever you need it, you want me to be strengthened or you feeling some type of way. Y'all look these up. Proverbs 21, 21. 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. Second Peter 1, 4 through 9, and Psalms 55, 22. All right. Now, I truly hope that this has encouraged somebody today. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up, man. Don't feel like you're going through something alone. You know, I know that can be hard, too, because everybody, you know, everybody don't get somebody. So, you know, going through things alone can be stressful. You know, make you feel like you're going to give up, like no one cares. You know what I'm saying? So, don't feel, don't feel like that. Like, if you're feeling alone, if you feel like you want to give up, you know, y'all can always message me, you know, send me a message, whatever. You know, we can talk about it. You know, I'm quite sure I've been through some of the same things. You know, it's okay. It's okay. So, y'all have a wonderful day. Do not give up. Giving up is not an option. Giving up is definitely not an option. And don't forget about these scriptures too. Galatians 6 and 9. I don't know if I remember to tell y'all that, but don't, don't forget about that. Galatians 6 and 9. Y'all have a wonderful day. Do not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. God has a harvest in store for you. If you do not give up, do not give up. At the proper time, at the proper time, you're going to reap a harvest for all that you've been through. So don't worry about it when it look like the ones that's doing wrong is winning. Don't worry about it. Don't get weary. God got you. God see what you do. God see what you do. Your reward is not today. It's coming, though. Y'all have a marvelous day. I love you all. Enjoy and may God continue to bless you. And may God continue to strengthen you and help you to not grow weary. Give you the strength to not be weary and faint not. Faint not. Faint not, y'all. Faint not. Faint not. Have a marvelous day.